Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Scott and today I'm going to talk a bit about the Static Body 2D, as well as demonstrate how you would set it up to just create a simple, simple, simple floor. Now for this tutorial you don't need any resources, you don't need anything to follow along. All you have to do is start a new project and go from there. So, Static Body 2D. When would you want to use it? Nice. It's for static bodies, and it is most commonly used for landscapes that the player interacts with, such as floors, or perhaps even a tree, or perhaps even a stone. It really depends on the kind of game you're making. The point is, it's a body for something that's not going to move, unless you were to make, for example, flying platforms, in which case you would enable some animation on that static body. But we're not going into that, that's a bit, a bit too advanced for what I want to convey during this video. <laughs> so let's just create our static body and then we'll go through the properties it have. Let me search up static body 2D. Now it's worth mentioning that what I'm going through in this video, most of it applies also in the 3D equivalent, which is just the static body. But before I select this, I have to make sure to select a main scene. I'm just going to select the control node here. It's a nice and simple node for my controlling purposes. I'm going to rename this to the main, I'm going to press Control s to save, and just hit save once again. On main, I'm going to add our static body 2D. Static body 2D, what, what does it do? What does it have? What kind of properties does it have? And, and what variables you can change? Well, there's actually not as much as the other bodies, which would be the rigid body or the kinematic body. It does have friction and bounce, and that would affect the way other bodies would interact with it. So if, for example, we were to have a player, and it would jump on a static body that had bounce on one, it would bounce the player. Now the same applies for the linear velocity and angular velocity. It affects the bodies that's interacting with this static body, and not the static body itself. Now that may or may not be confusing, but don't worry about it. Chances are you probably won't be using this much, if at all, especially if you're a beginner. The friction, however, and the bounce may be of interest though, just something to keep in mind. Friction of 1 will make sure anything that slides on this body, it will eventually stop. Unless the force exceeds the friction and it's uh, practically infinite. But for now, all you have to understand is that if you were to have friction on 0, and you were to have a rigid body just fall on top of it, it would just slide along forever and ever until it leaves the static body. But I'm gonna put it back to 1 again. We also have collision layers and mask, and I'm going to go into that in a separate video. On our static body, I want to make sure I can see it, so I'm just going to add a sprite node on the static body. I'm just going to right click it, I'm going to select add child node, I'm going to search for sprite. I'm going to select the sprite, and then I'm going to load a little Godot icon image, and I'm going to stretch this out so this can be <laughs> interpreted as a sort of ground. But before I do that, I'm going to select the static body 2D, I'm going to press the W key on the keyboard, and that will change from select mode to move mode, or you can just select it manually in the upper left corner here. Let's make sure to select move mode, and make sure static body is selected. And then just drag it all the way down here, to the ground area. Now this little window you see here, that is where the camera will be. Because we don't have any camera in our node tree here, when I were to hit play, this is what we would see, this is where our window would be. But we're not done yet, we don't have any physical body on our static body yet. This is just a node as of yet. So let's select the static body 2D. Let's right click and select add child node. And in here I'm gonna select a collision shape 2D. Or optionally you can also select the polygon and manually draw the shape. But I'm gonna select the shape 2D for now. Because all we need is just a flat rectangle. So I'm gonna select this node. I'm gonna go into shape here. I'm gonna select a new rectangle shape, and you can actually see the shapes on the left there, so if you're not sure what a convex polygon shape is, well, there's an illustration of what it may be. <laughs> so I'm gonna select a rectangle shape, and then I'm gonna zoom in, and now we see a little, little blue box here, and that is the edges of our collision. Now if I were to go back to select mode, we will have a lot more of more points to drag, and you do not want to drag the points on the node itself, because that will scale the node, and it may make things go very, very bad. So let's go back to move mode by selecting W key on the keyboard, or just up here again, and make sure to drag the inner two 
points. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom out a bit so I can see the entire window here. I'm gonna select the one on the right, I'm just gonna drag it all out. I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna drag it a bit down here, make it a little thinner, there we go. Let's move it down. There we go, it's not that, you know, it's, it's, all you need to know is how to do it. You don't have to be as accurate, especially in this little demo here. Now, let's select the sprite and let's smoosh it down. Let's press select mode, and on this sprite you can scale, because it wouldn't affect any physical properties, this is just the image you're scaling here. I'm gonna stretch it down, I'm gonna stretch this up. So I'm gonna select it with the left mouse key, I'm gonna hold down the left alt and it will adjust itself. Make it equally wide on both sides. And that's not quite accurate, so I'm gonna release the alt key and just gonna drag it all the way to the end there. There we go. So if you were now to have a physical body fall on this floor, it would stop right here. And that's really all there is to creating a, a working static body 2D. Of course, you would probably have your own sprite and a actual floor texture to do this. So if I have forgotten something, did, uh, are there questions that are left unanswered about the static body 2D? Let me know. So thank you so much for watching this, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you in a future video. Bye bye And why am I waving? You can't actually see me. I actually wave.